In this video, I want to show you how you can create a pop-up menu for your Power BI reports. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fenan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's start by looking at this report. It's a very simple sales report with a few filters on the left hand side here, which, uh, as you know, will affect the data sets and the visuals on the middle here, as well as the cards on the top. At the top, we have cards like total sales, total orders, just to give you some summary of the data. And then in the middle here, we have a collection of uh, different charts and visuals just to give an idea of how the sales are doing over time. So if I hide all of these uh, different panes here and I want you to focus on the white screen uh, in the middle here within this dotted uh, border. This area is pretty much your report size and if you focus on the left hand side here the filters themselves actually take a considerable amount of screen space and this space could be used to show more visuals or even remove clutter altogether. Now this gives us a good opportunity to create a pop-up menu, which basically shows the filters with a button. And then when you're done with the filters can be hidden, which will give you tons more space for visualizations. So let's have a look at implementing that. The first thing that you need to learn, if you don't know already, is how to manage two things, the visibility and the Z order of your visuals. The visibility is just hiding and showing certain visuals in your page. And then the Z order is just how the visuals are layered on top of each other. To do that, we're going to expand the uh, top ribbon here. We're going to go to view and then we're going to enable the selection pane, which will open up uh, this selection pane here on the right hand side. So each of the items here listed in our layer order is actually different visuals in our page. So if I click one, for example, you'll see that it highlights that this card is uh, corresponding to this card, total unique customers. And their order in this list is pretty much their Z order. So higher ordered visuals go on top of uh, visuals. Uh, that are below it when they overlap into the reports. So let's say, for example, uh, total unique products and total unique customers. Uh, this card we can see on the Z order is at the top. So that means if I put it on top of uh, this visual, when they overlap, it stays at the top. However, if we do it the opposite way, and if I click out, you'll see that uh, this first one stays on top because uh, total unique customers is at the top of the selection layer. If you wanted to reverse that, you just need to make sure that this one is on the top like this um, to put it on top. So that is what Z order means. You'll see that each visual in the selection pane has the eye icon. If you click that, uh, it will hide the visual in the report where you'll see that it has a slash sign on it and it means it's hidden. And if it doesn't, if you click it again, it will be shown. Uh, just keep it in mind that this is how we can change the state of your visuals from hidden to not hidden. Now it's just a matter of saving these states together so we can trigger them with buttons. And to do that, we actually want to use something called bookmarks. So for bookmarks, you go to view once again, and now we want to enable the bookmarks here, which will open up the bookmarks pane for us. So bookmark essentially just captures the states of your visuals so that you can go back to them later. And we can use that to essentially enable our pop-up menus. So let's start by creating a bookmark at the moment. We will double click to rename this one to say menu shown. And this state we've saved because we want a view where all of the filters on the left hand side are showing. And we want to create another state where the menus are hidden. Now, in order to create a state where the menu is hidden, we just simply need to go to the left hand side here. Let's uh, hide all of those slicers using the selection pane here. 
and then maybe let's even hide this image which is supposed to be your company logo so now that we've done that uh, we just create a new bookmark to say save this state and this state will be when the menu is hidden pretty simple right so now when we toggle between these two bookmarks you'll see that when i go to menu shown it will show the menu and then when the menu uh, hidden is toggled it will hide the menu on the left hand side so now that we've created the states using bookmarks let's now create buttons to trigger them from the report itself so to do that first let's go back to menu shown let's go to insert and then buttons will select any of these for now maybe let's select the left arrow we'll put the button here at the bottom and here we're gonna go to the format uh, pane here go to actions we want to enable that and um, when the button is clicked we want it to do something and in this case we want it to trigger a bookmark in this case when this button is clicked we want to hide the menu so that's what we're gonna select here on the bookmark and now we're gonna use control click to simulate clicking this button and if I click that you'll see that it triggers the bookmark however this button still stays visible and that's because we haven't saved the states of it when the menu is hidden to do that is pretty simple we just need to update the bookmark itself so we're gonna go to the button again uh, click hide so this will be hidden and then we're gonna go to the bookmarks menu hidden we'll just click update and there we go so when we go back to menu shown if we click that once more that will be hidden now let's create another button to trigger for the menu to come back so we're gonna create another button here we'll make it as small as possible on the left hand side maybe something like this We'll add an action once more bookmark and this time we want the menu to show when this button is clicked so let's try that so control click it shows the menu um, we just need to make sure that this button is hidden itself so i'm gonna click the button we're gonna hide it and under menu shown we click update that just makes sure that that button stays invisible when the menu is showing already. So click to hide it, then click to show. Perfect. So now that you have a hidden pop-up menu, you now have a lot of extra space to work with. So um, you know you can use that space to move your visuals, uh, maybe make some space for more um, visuals in your report something like this so now you'll see that you have a ton more space to work with if you have your menus hidden so now if you click this you'll see that uh, some of the icons and actually the menu itself is beneath the visuals and that's because of the z order so let's fix that and actually what i want to do is i want to add a translucent layer on top of the visuals to give it uh, an unfocused mode when the menus are showing so that the users know that they need to interact with the filters so let's do those two things together so let's fix the pop-up menu and let's add this translucent uh, layer so we'll create a shape here we'll create a rectangle we'll put it above all of the the page here we're going to have no outline and on the fill we want it to be white but we want the transparency to be 20 percent or so so it gives the uh, sort of unfocused layer for your report next we want to sort out the z layer now this is pretty important you want to make sure that the pane is above all of the visuals but below the filters so you want to make sure that the filters are showing on top of this translucent layer not at the bottom so we have uh, let's say the shape here we're gonna name this one pane just so that we know where it should be and as we said we need to have the slicers at the top the image as well just to make sure that it's up there and the button as well needs to be on top something like this 
So the pane is above all of the visuals except the menu that we have here. So next we have to save this state once more. So we'll go to menu shown, we'll click update. And then now, so now when we go to menu is hidden, we now also want to hide this and save this state. So hide the pane and update. And that should be it. So if we click this button now, if we do control click, that hides or that adds the layer underneath the visuals. And then when we click back, that hides the pane and then it shows us the visuals. So one last thing that I actually want to do on this pane itself. So if we click on the pane visual, we'll create an action here. And what we want to do is we want to show the menu when it's clicked. So it will simulate if the user selects anywhere in this screen, uh, it will return back to the report. So I made the mistake there. So it should be the pane, go to action. It needs to hide the menu. So if you click that, you see it hides the menu and then it goes back to the report. So we'll do that once more. And then when you click on that, there we go. So you now have a pop-up menu that you can use for your Power BI reports. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how to implement your own pop-up menus with your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for the next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.